Hey, what's up? It's Rashad. Definitely going to talk about a couple of things today when it comes to the iPhone 13 Pro as well as the Pixel 6 in regards to low light photography and videography between these two devices. I want to make sure we do three things today. One, like I already said, compare the two devices. Two, see how they react to certain situations when it comes to being in low light. And lastly, something really odd that I found with the Google Pixel 6 when doing extreme low light video. I'm gonna compare these two things in their native app. First video was me in a garage working out and pretty simple. I want you guys to pay attention to the sky in the um, upper right hand corner. Also compare skin tone and clarity a video so that's a couple of things that, that I noticed one on the iPhone every time I move up to like do the do the little knee up the um, tone the, the color tone shifts so when I'm down and it's focusing on me it's more it's a warmer tone but then when I kick up it's focusing on something else and it's a and it's a cooler tone which is interesting on the Pixel 6, it's pretty consistent the entire time. However, the video on the Pixel 6 is a little bit noisier, so I don't really, I don't really know what's up with that. But the video is definitely a little bit noisier. It was, you know, it was going down around dusk, so around five quarter to six, something like that. You know, it's East Coast daylight saving time is over. So that's, that's kind of how, you, what's gonna happen when you have that sort of, of lighting. So let me just get into just a, just a photo. Me in a garage, well, I'm shooting basically into, into my garage and there are some dumbbells, regular camera, regular wide camera, and I just wanna notice the differences in a couple of things. First, we have a clear difference in white balance. So iPhone much more warmer Google Pixel 6 much more cooler also if you look at up here way more definition so way more things are being shown especially on the floor up here is a little more smooth you have the paint for the children who make messes in the garage trying to be artists and even out here so right here you see where this is kind of a greenish tint all of this has basically been darkened and browned out. So it really depends on what you're, what you like in real life. Cause to be honest, it's really a mixture of these two things, what it really looks like. I don't have time to edit that photo and show you, but yeah, it's not this warm and it's not, and it is this, def, this defined It's definitely with more, more definition, more clarity. In the phone this one is definitely trying to give you the most pleasing photo so yeah interesting findings next we have shot of the moon in relative darkness light on the left hand side light from a car reflecting in the in the foreground is basically no light in the background so you get the same same flaring going on here and the moon is almost the same looks the same almost so i just wanted to show you what the what the raw photo on the on on, on the pixel look like in comparison yeah a lot of noise on that raw photo so for some reason it looks like google is making a choice with the with their raw files not to do as much processing as their as their jpegs let me just I show it to you. See? A JPEG and then DNG. So it's it's interesting to see why Google is choosing to do this. Cause this this happens on almost every raw slash JPEG file that comes up because with Google for some reason, they don't let you choose which one. You gotta have both. So you end up having duplicates of like all your photos, which is just it's ridiculous. Pull up another photo. Another another wide camera 
angle on this and right now we have again iphone warm google pixel 6 way more cooler photo right now we have a lot of warmer tones this one is is almost green when it comes to the concrete the concrete is definitely more of this than it is of this but interesting how even how the 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 light being projected right here from this car is just being shown like even we get to here and it's like true white here is like like basically almost a rainbow effect you get that magenta looking and then you get to green then you get to that white and bright white in the middle and then back to green and then back to you know like a bluish in the green and blue all blue all around it and this one is much more evenly kind of um lit to be honest so all the way through and then it kind of floods at the end so it's just really interesting to see how they're trying to emulate what it looks like in real life which one do you like better i'm i'm kind of a toss-up for me this is pretty beyond it's pretty even of course the iphones on the left pixels on, on the right and both of these phones did a pretty good job of of actually capturing the the image at night both of them have a decent amount of <laughs> decent amount of um of grain of course because this is pretty much it's fully it's, it's it's dark outside even when i turn around the way that the the camera is catching the the light in the um from the street definitely flares a little bit at the top so it's still usable. Both of these things are pretty are pretty usable, even with these um kind of uncharacteristically harsh conditions for you know for a camera phone. Next, switch through this time. On the right hand side is going to be the iPhone, and on the left hand side is going to be the Google Pixel Six. So we already know iPhone was like, yo, I got to get in, 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 into night mode. And for some reason, Night Sight didn't kick in on the Pixel 6. So I try to make it as natural as if somebody was just shooting a photo and they shot it. So right here, it's just basically how it really looked outside. And for some reason, iPhone was like, nah, we need to make sure we, we gotta pump this up. So you have this very almost ghostly looking <laughs> aberration thing right here you know what i'm saying because it definitely wasn't no clouds in the sky this is basically just any available light is being amped up so you can even see a little bit of cloud right here and then the available light kind of shining through and even on this side right here you can see where it would have been like kind of amped up if this was an actual a, like a you know like night mode on a google but it didn't kick in and I would have wished that it didn't kick in on this to, so I can have like a much more truer photo because now everything looks very, you know, this looks pissy yellow and I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this photo in real life. Next, now we have a shot of everybody's favorite. I'm not going to give you grocery bags slash pay for your shopping cart on loan store Audi. Out of the window of a car shot, a lot of a lot of flaring from the lights for both photos for some reason the google is like yeah we going all out on this and this definitely gives a, a like a almost burgundy a cabernet ish flare which doesn't appear in the um in the iphone the background definitely much more busier in the um in the pixel as well the ground again for some reason this comes out a little bit cooler ironically and this one is definitely warmer for some reason so they kind of swap size on on what they normally would do which is kind of odd for this photo i'm definitely would, would rather use the the iphone than than the pixel and let's just again this what it looks like if you shot it in raw so definitely consider how much you are really investing into putting extra effort into your photos if you're gonna shoot with raw on a pixel. One more thing to show, and I just wanna, matter of fact, I'm gonna do this one at a time, so. All right, so this is the, the iPhone 13 Pro, and basically complete darkness as I walk away from the street light 
and towards a street light right here and it's it's just all it's all dark so this does a i mean i am be honest this does a a really a really decent job of keeping a salvageable um video file i mean it's for it to focus on the light ahead and really you know punch it in and without breaking it down completely and have like a bunch of noise and grain that's 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 pretty good so let's look at the pixel i can find it hold on so this is what the pixel does in this situation same spot shot at the same time and this was the weird finding that i was trying to talk about at the beginning of the, at the beginning of the video i didn't want to come on great gadgets i didn't want to you know leave you with a the cliffhanger here but this is how the pixel depicts this that same image noisy grainy not enough light so what it does it just doesn't it can't focus since there's no focus point we're just basically walking walking bokeh maker <laughs> until we get closer to the the, um, the the street light then it focuses in and it's still very 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 grainy so this is and it did this a couple of times this wasn't the first time that this happened when, when i went around you know my little quick walk outside in, in the in the dark and the iphone just doesn't it doesn't doesn't do it so if you're doing some sort of like extreme vlogging and you got to be out at night you got some decisions to make as to which phone would definitely work for you now, of course i did this with the rear camera for both the regular on wide camera as well so everything was pretty much even and this is going to be a matter of like i said in my other video a matter of preference which one do you want and like more uh right now i'm still leaning towards the iphone 13 pro because just overall what it does but the google pixel 6 is a it's a really solid phone i mean it does it does a lot of things really well until you get something like this and it's like man like well like what like what happened so i'm curious to see what everybody else likes and out of the um, pictures and videos i've shown which one would you prefer if you were just like you know just sending it unedited no type of changes being made just boom i'm gonna send it out or something you would want to upload to like you know ig or or whatever or tiktok whatever you use for your social media let me know in the comments below but that's all i got and i have a really good lightroom if you use lightroom mobile or thinking about it or have it or don't want to pay for the ten dollars a month i think i may have something that may sway you into into actually doing that but that'll be on the next video Till the next time, make sure you have fun doing whatever it is you do best.